Hello. We have set up the true kit. We are at a place called Mesa now, which is very close to Ned's campground just over here. So we're still on the Ningaloo side. We went back to Exmouth Township, or went to Exmouth Township to get supplies. And now we've got a few nights here, and then we've got four nights uh, <laughs> back up the coast a bit. So we're making the most of it. Weather is insane for the next few days in terms of wind. Yeah, we're so lucky. So good. So campsite's back there, but it's not a very nice campsite actually, to be honest, at Mesa. We more camped there for the location. But the cool thing is we can park on this beach, which by the way is so soft, we almost <laughs> got bogged. So I had to drop some more tire pressure. So I'm going to go out pretty soon now that I've had some pancakes and I'm just going to start dropping for craze. So you're not allowed to spear here. So the spear gun is not even going to come out of the truck. I'm just going to go down with hand and fist and try and wrangle some dinner. Yeah, so today I guess you'll go by yourself. We'll get set up with Oaks. We'll uh, probably play around around here. And tomorrow is meant to be beautiful. So I'm hoping that will be the first maiden voyage of Oakley in the boat. In the boat. That'll be so good. So I'm all up to speed with the boat now after the last little mission I did. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable and confident with it. So Bring the it's family. running super smooth. Yeah, so I just need to put the fuel in drag it down to the beach. I would say of a night time, we'll tie it up somewhere around here so that we can drive back to the camp. All right, so I'm gonna gear up, have finish my pancakes and get out there before it gets windy.
Good. What do you think of your little outdoor oaks? Pretty happy? Wow, pretty cool. So Chris is on the boat in the distance. I was waiting that Oakley was going to go for a nap to set up a little outdoor setup which he went for a little nap so I set up the cool cabana by myself which is super practical very easy it took me just like a minute with the sand it's really handy we haven't used it much so far because we're a bit like on the go but now that we're a bit more stationary around the Nigaloo that's gonna come really handy and we've got our new Nike blanket which I'm really happy about it's huge I don't know if you can tell one thing I really like about it is you can actually peg it on the side as opposed to other blankets that we've had in the past so I'm not worried that the wind's gonna pick it up and like put a lot of sand on Oakley's face it's waterproof as well so underneath is like this material so it's super easy to clean you don't have to worry where you put it so here on sand I guess it's not much worry but sometimes we're more like in dusty environment and then after you get that dust like everywhere inside so that's super practical it was super compact as well so we could like store it easily in the garage so yeah I'm stoked and Nike as well we've used their hammocks in the past and they are the products are made of like recycled plastic bottles which is like a really good initiative and they plant trees for every purchase so yeah very good company to support uh, an Australian company so yeah Oaks and I I don't know we'll uh, probably just chill here this morning wait for uh, Chris to come back and let us know how it is out there So Chris in the distance over there, I think he's just going for one more dive because he would have seen on the drone footage I've just taken, he got a cray at, at least one. So that's such a good news because we're not too sure if we're going to find some good ground again and some good bummies, maybe like all the crayfish would have been taken already. So yeah, excellent news. I can't wait to hear about the stories about the bummies that he found. In the meantime, I'm just taking Oakley for a little walk and yeah, just enjoying the beautiful weather this morning. All right. Not a bad size cray. It's died since I've got it into the boat. So it's really soft. So it's just molted. It's so creepy feeling. It's just not hard. So when I grabbed it, I just kind of like squeezed it. But I'm hoping its tail is still filled with meat. So what I'm going to do is just pull the head off now. And um, we'll just put that straight in the freezer. How's the condition out there? Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> and my gloves, they're awesome for crays. These um, Seabuck Pack Horse 3 mil gloves. The first cray I went for, I grabbed it, it was much bigger than this guy. And he got away because I celebrated too early, so I'm so gutted. So this is one of two crays that I grabbed. There's another one that I've marked, another cray under a bommy. But as soon as I got that other one, he dove under quite deep. So I'll try and maybe get him tomorrow. But for now, this will do just fine. It's a nice big male. So yeah, very good.
Where is that for a glass of? What a no, morning! That doesn't look inviting. I don't know what does. And there are crays out there laughing at me. The most perfect morning. So Oakley is currently napping. We'll wait for him to finish his little nap. And we'll probably go on his first boat mission. Yeah. The boat is still here, luckily. Oh. <laughs> I stressed about it a little bit last night, even though I knew the water wasn't even going to come up to it. But I dug the anchor in anyway. I have missed this boat so much such a little weapon so if you're unfamiliar with it it is the HMAS Scallywag <laughs> and it is a true kit discovery a four meter true kit discovery uh, and it's a cat so it's wicked for diving it's just it's so cool it only weighs 40 kilos the only pain in the butt about the whole process is the motor because it's taking up so much room in our garage what I'm thinking of doing is after the Exmouth area I'm thinking of selling this should be able to get our money back out of it because two strokes are so expensive now here and uh, maybe buy a trolling motor so i'm thinking an electric trolling motor that will take up way less room uh, way less weight so but i've never had one before so if you have any expertise or knowledge of little electric trolling motors please let me know especially if you've ever had one attached to a inflatable because i reckon that'll be enough for us <laughs> i blame it on you rodney a rocket kit for forcing me to get a 20 horsepower no, he didn't at all but he's always ripping around i was like i'm gonna max this transom out and probably didn't need to get a 20 horsepower but it's okay yeah it's a bit of a kill for what we do but yeah we had no well, idea that was our first time i guess we still did some cool did some crossings in missions. queensland like yeah. if you haven't watched those videos uh yeah look at them because like for the first time uh, we um yeah, we did some pretty cool stuff back there. On that note, good. they've got the exact same style of uh, blowfish out here, and I saw a oh, no. huge one under a bomber yesterday <laughs> looking at me. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, actually, a few people ask, how's your finger? You know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of spongy feeling. <laughs> looks real ugly. It looks like ET's little glowing finger. Oh my God. <laughs> but I mean, I still got it, so it's the main thing. Yeah. I have regrets, but you know. <laughs> you live and learn. Yeah. Cool. All right, Oakley's first boat mission. How are you doing, Val? Much better now. It was not easy with the life jacket, the sunnies, the hat. Too much going on, too much. Too much. But now he's okay. Now Hopefully, he'll be absolutely that fine. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Ah. <laughs> How's the viz Oh my gosh, look at this. My first time in the boat in WA. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh gosh, look at so that. Close. Good job, Oaks. Time to go spotting some turtles. Let's do it. Like 30 seconds after that last clip, we saw a huge one. All right, let's keep looking. See it? That was a huge stingray Ange. Crazy, we can see so well. Look at that. Look at the blue fish. Wow. Zoom. Cool, eh, Oaks? Yeah. It's happy now. Oh, there's a big garfish there. A few parrotfish. I could probably I could probably spot crayfish from above. That's how clear this is. So keep an eye out for the old little antlers ant. Oh right, I'll keep my eyes out. Oh this is beautiful. It's doing circles here. Look at all the stripy fish. Hopefully you can see that. Oh this is beautiful. Wow. We'll go back over this um, stingray coming up. Just ahead. See him? That's huge. It's a big stinger. Look at you, mate. Aren't you so beautiful? Chilled. Awesome. Have a go at that bombing. Wow. 
Don't want to drive over there. Oh, We're ready to jump in. Ready to jump in. You holding on? Holding oh, on. Let's see if I can grab a craze. So this is the spot that I went yesterday. There were two craze. One I pulled out the big stonker, dropped him. I'm hoping the other guy's still in there. Good oh. luck. Woo! And I'll be chilling in the boat with Oaks. He's getting used to it. I think like the noise of the motor and like the bobbing around, the bit of movement. He's pretty chill right now. We'll see how we go, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for first time in the boat with him. I was a bit stressed at first, especially that like he was really not happy when we set him up on the on the shore. We just removed the little sunnies and I'm just like making sure he's got shade. And so far, he seems pretty happy, so success for first boat family mission. lullaby that I sing to him. He seems to love it in French and it's actually about a sailor on the boat so I feel like it's quite appropriate for this situation. Funnily enough, hopefully he will fall asleep. We'll see how we go. Wow, I think he's falling asleep. It's so good. It's actually so peaceful when the motor is off, like just the bobbing of the waves. I love it. It's so relaxing. Just no wind, the big waves in the distance. Crazy diving. What a good day. Wow! Hey 
guys. You look beautiful. Thanks for saying hi. So Chris went back for a second dive. I'm staying on shore with Oakley, currently feeding him some puree. Started recently to incorporate some solid foods, which is quite exciting. Six months old Oakley. This is just some store-bought puree at the moment because I actually don't have a blender, which I've just ordered. So very soon I'll be able to make my own purees, which I'm very excited about. And I really, as well, look forward to starting the baby let winning some more like finger food for Oakley. It's just not quite ready yet, but very soon and he's got his own little camp chair. I believe the brand is called Max and Coco. If you're after like a camping chair for a little ones, definitely check them out because it's a really cute chair. <laughs> oh, it's so funny actually starting to feed him some solid food. Every time I started to give him anything, he just doesn't seem to like it at first. Like his face is like, what is this? And then after it's like, more, 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 give me more. Always the hand in the mouth. That's not going to be helpful, buddy. But yeah, we had an amazing morning in the boat. It went very successfully with Oakley this morning. So yeah, we're stoked, even though we didn't get a crayfish. Hopefully, Chris comes back with the one this afternoon. Well, I think I got the only crayfish in the area. So that's that one there, the slightly smaller one. So I've cut that one in half. It had been molting, so it was all kind of spongy. And the big tail, the big half tail, is the one that Nick grabbed that we went freestyling after a few days ago. So since we last recorded, I've been out two more times out and took Ange and Oakley out again. And I just, I've gone, I must have gone <laughs> to a hundred bombies diving and there's just no craze. So somehow the first bombie I dropped on that first day was the only bombie with craze on it. It was bizarre. So uh, we're going to have that. Ange has made a nice salad. We've got some rice going to be a nice little afternoon. The weather really turned it on for us again. Yeah, this morning was super special again. The boat with Oakley did very well. The condition, it was crystal clear. At some stage we went like very close to the reef. Oh, so nice, hey. And then I dove in to have a look at a bommy to see if there was a cray under. And there was the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. It was this massive cod and there were two others with it. I don't know how heavy it would have been. It would have been easily 60 kilos. Gosh. It was a beast. So I filmed a little bit of it, but the GoPro really doesn't do justice to how big that animal was because it's a bit further away. Man, it was cool. So this is our final night here. It's really a special spot for us because we came here three years ago. That was the shakedown trip with the Mog. That was still like ex army camo. And that was cool. we came here, we had like a kayak. We did a kayaking mission to get crazed. And yeah. that's the reason why we came back here because we had, we, we such had so a much good success. time yeah. and a good success. I think we had like what, three crazed? Oh no, point? it was more, I think. More. And I had grabbed a few, but they had, um, they were buried and had tar spots. So I put them back. So there yeah. were just tons everywhere. I guess it's just maybe like the end of the season. Like, you know, yeah. like it's almost the end of winter. Not too sure exactly what happened, but it's crazy to think that we are coming back to this exact same spot but this time not only with a completed home so Bowser is no longer ex army camo we have as well a boat and most importantly we have a little bubba. back with the baby yeah so. we did not expect that in three years <laughs> we've done well yeah yeah so, so right. we're gonna get cooking and we'll uh, let's finished. just let yeah. Oakley have a little nap and then we'll have dinner wow that looks amazing mm -hmm. So good. It's and got a big some one. our favorite coconut, lemongrass, chili rice, a nice salad, crayfish, ugly boy. <laughs> oh, look at you. Oh my 
Look how he's so adorable. Hey, happy boy. <laughs> Not yet crayfish for you, but very soon we'll try. Just in case you're allergic, maybe we'll do that in an area where we're a little bit closer to the hospital. Alright. <laughs> oh. oh right. We got you as the view. The best view. Tonight's entertainment is Ugly Boy. Can you do magic tricks? Can you put things in your mouth? Oh <laughs> yeah. Can you drool on yourself? Yeah. Can you put your toes in your mouth? You are the magic boy. <laughs> Yum. So good. All right, that about wraps up this stage of the Ningaloo. Amazing adventure. So good. So we might actually try spearing in the Gulf and see if we can get some good fish. That would be epic. Next so episode. <laughs> plenty more adventures to come here in Exmouth. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye bye. Stay safe. Cheers.